what you're going to do. The first thing yeah, says, can write you. the name, the name of the shape. Circle the objects that are the same shape or the objects. So over here, a lot of you on our last paper only circled one thing. Okay, it's objects. So if there's more than one object that is the same shape, you need to circle it, okay? What if I don't know how to spell the name of this first object? Where should I look, Lila? Go back to guided practice. Perfect, Lila. Go back to the guided practice. And if you want to open your papers, I saw Journey had his paper open, just like this, Mason. I'm showing Mason how to do it. That way you don't have to flip back and forth. That might be the easiest thing to do, okay? So you can just kind of put them together, all right? Take your time. Oh, you need to write every single one and then circle the objects that match it, okay? When you get done, you're going to go to IXL and you're going to go to the T's. Look up here, guys. T1 and T2 are on naming two-dimensional shapes. Now, I noticed that a lot of you have started this, like Tyson and Hattie and Lewis and Kinsley and Ingrid and Brooklyn, and some of you are to 100. If you're not there yet, please work on T1. If you've already mastered it to 100, go to T2, which is select the two-dimensional shapes. And again, look at some kids, they've already mastered it. If you haven't, do T1, T2, and then if you mastered those, go on to T3. Now look at this, guys. Now, I wanna tell you, and I forgot to tell you this yesterday, a really fancy word for the corners or the angles is called a vertice. Can you guys say that? Vertice. So on this one, it's all it is is counting the corners or the vertices. So when you see that word vertice, just think corner. So Lila, looking at the square, how many vertices or corners does it have? Four. Four. Good job. And that's all you have to do on this one. Now this one's size. How many sides? We talked about that yesterday. What do you think, Aria? Three. Good job. Okay, we'll do one more, two more. How many sides, Corla? Five. Excellent. All right. So you'll keep going on this one. So you should be able to do T3 by yourself, no problem. And then if you get that done, go to T4. Okay? All right, we're gonna work on this for about 15 minutes, and then we're gonna move on to math skills, okay? Quietly, go ahead and go.